Uh, it's Sunday, final day of the trip, uh, about quarter after seven. We're going to do kickstands up at nine o'clock this morning, give everybody a little bit of time to sleep in because we've only got about 170 some miles to get back to Winchester. It's time to go find some breakfast. left Elkins, West Virginia just a few minutes ago. This is the final day of the trip. Uh, we should end up back in Winchester early this afternoon. Uh, we're down two riders, Beverly and Brian, only live about an hour from here. Uh, so they were gonna stay with us for a little while and ultimately decided they wanna ride down to uh, Cass Scenic Railroad. So they're gonna go check that out. Uh, it was great having them with us on the trip, but the rest of us are gonna soldier on. Uh, we've got around 20 miles or so to get to Philippi, West Virginia. We'll check out the uh, the old covered bridge there, take a little break, and then continue to head up north to Grafton, and then we'll eventually uh, start to head back east on Route 50 all the way back to Winchester. Uh, we got some good riding along the way. Obviously, we stopped at the uh, Philippi Covered Bridge back there in Philippi, West Virginia. We've shot on up 119, and we've arrived in Grafton, West Virginia. I think we got to cut through the downtown area a little bit, and then we'll go up and hit Route 50, which essentially will be the last road we're on the rest of the day. Coming outside of Grafton here, road's a little rough. I mean, just the way they've patched it up, but 
still not too bad to ride. Just, uh, it's nice having that extra suspension travel on this adventure bike is all. Alright, so uh, we're backtracking right now. Everything was going along okay, and uh, I saw some lights flying up behind me. It was Jeff. Uh, he informed me uh, we've got a rider down. Uh, I think he's okay. We'll go back and find out, though. He says he's about three miles back. Alright, well, he's back up, which is good. You okay? <laughs> oh, man, how, how's it now that we know the riders are alright? How's the. There's not even a scratch on his bike. <laughs> What's that? I said there's not even a scratch on his bike. <laughs> Check out this turkey that's uh, apparently checking out this Ford pickup truck. So we just made our final fuel stop of the trip. We got about 40 miles left to Winchester. Currently in uh, Romney. Might have to move. This sheets truck may need to get here, which is perfect timing because we're about ready to pull out of the lot anyway. You got some sort of accident up here. You get the couple of fire trucks, maybe. And you have a fire truck. I don't know what's going on here. Somebody just ran down into a ditch. Looks okay. I've seen that happen more than once today. All right, so we just. Yeah, they are. So we just topped off the uh, exit here in Winchester. And we we're planning on having lunch. Uh, it's packed as can be. So uh, there's a couple other spots right on up the road here. We're gonna go over there and grab a little bit of lunch. We got everyone uh, back safely, despite some uh, close calls, but overall uh, everyone fared pretty well. Some pretty good ride in there uh, this afternoon. It's just a few minutes after two o'clock. Once we grab something to eat, uh, we've got people headed in every different direction, north, south east and west to get home uh, i only have to go a few miles north though which is pretty nice but i'm with pete right now i'm pretty hungry so let's go get some grub well i wish your dad was here i put salt in my beer just in his honor you're gonna, you're gonna need two hands for that one no i see that i got some pretty good size pot, <laughs> rusty you get the you get your last word here what do you want to say i'm sleepy <laughs> i'm gonna go lay down 
I'm gonna pop my pants open like uh, Pete here. <laughs> just collapse. So. I didn't pop them. That's just a structural flaw. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got to get some. I'm gonna buy suspenders. Wear yeah. suspenders. I'm not sure if we ever showed off Jeff's vanity plate, but you can take a look at it right there. It's pretty cool. So anyway, we just finished up lunch. Uh, everyone's pretty much parted ways. It's my sister in front of me, and then Jeff. Jeff's got his uh, truck and trailer back at the house, so he's going to stop, pick it up, and get loaded up and everything. I'm going to uh, drop my bike off at the house and probably not getting washed for a couple of days. But all in all, great trip. We had a lot of firsts this trip. It was the first trip we had. Uh, we had female riders on the trip. Obviously, my sister and Beverly. It was the uh, first trip. We had someone run out of gas. It was the first trip we had someone, I don't know if you want to say crash or uh, that car is just being a hole or uh, run off the road anyway in Ron. But uh, it was also the first trip we ever intentionally went off of paved roads uh, when we went down to Nuttleburg Park. So all in all, great time. It seemed like everyone really enjoyed themselves. Uh, we enjoyed hosting them up here in west virginia and you know we're planning on doing one of those again next year uh if not a couple of them so uh stay tuned to the channel anyway hope you guys enjoyed this wild and wonderful weekend trip video series if you did please give it a big thumbs up if you're not a subscriber consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles well this is the place to be uh those of you that went on the trip if you're watching uh if you watch this video or any of the video series uh kind of kind of watch the comment section people may have some questions things like that feel more you're more than welcome to uh to chime in there share your opinions of what it was like to go on one of these things i, I really hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and as always i'll talk to you again soon